Oftentimes, we get caught up in conversations on whether you actually fall below or above the average height of Koreans. Well, here's your answer. On average, men are 172.5 centimetres tall and women are 159.6 centimetres tall. It was also found that about half of adult men fall into the category of obesity. Here are the details of Koreans' body measurements announced by the Korean Agency for Technology and Standards. A gym in Seoul. Business is recovering after suffering from a slump during the pandemic. 여단은 게 불규칙했기 때문에 제가 뭐 규칙적으로 여기를 계속 나올 나올 수는 없었고요. 많이 답답했죠. 지금 편하게 운동할 수 있을 것 같아요. 부담 없이. The Korean Agency for Technology and Standards announced the results of its study on the body dimensions of some 6,800 adults. The study shows Koreans are taller than ever, and the male obesity rate has gone up. The average height stands at 172.5 centimeters for men, 159.6 centimeters for women. Compared to the study conducted some four decades ago, Korean men are 6.4 centimeters taller and women are 5.3 centimeters taller. The average body mass index among men is 24.9, indicating they are overweight. Women have a BMI of 22.6 on average, which is considered to be standard. Some 47% of men and 23% of women fall into the category of obesity. In the case of females, the obesity rate dropped among those aged 35 or older compared to the previous survey. Koreans' legs are slightly longer than they used to be 17 years ago. The changes show their body types have become more westernized. But the cephalic index, or the ratio of width to length in the head that's used to categorize head shapes, remained nearly unchanged at the typical proportion of Asians over the past four decades. The latest study was conducted in Koreans aged 20 and 69 from May 2020 until the end of last year. The state-authorized data is compiled every five years. 한국인의 인체 지수를 측정하게 되면 한국인에 맞는 제품을 개발한다거나 또 한국인에 맞는 그 생활 환경을 조성하는 데 굉장히 많이 도움이 되고 있습니다. In 2017, subway train seats were enlarged for the first time in 40 years based on the body measurement study. The Korean Agency for Technology and Standards will use these study results in various fields including the medical devices industry as well as human factors and ergonomics.